It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. Wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Levioso. Let's try something. 
something a little larger. Let us begin with the basic cost. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak Levioso. So, now, well done. to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. This Levioso, Protego. Lucky. Nothing lucky about it. Good form. I know. You're good. Let me open our perspective. Right? This can't be your problem. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot. And you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned? Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck, or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around.
Revelio. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. I we sometimes have to, to remind him to finish the lesson. Blanket. Wants a little nap. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing Obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> So, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? <laughs> Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. Accio reaches to pull the sphere as... Excellent control that happens to the best of us. Splendid! That's it! Very 
good. Points to Ravenclaw. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Let us see this. That is how it's done. Action! Excellent. What's this? Make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Here we go. Do not think I will start going easy on you, no? Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother, before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a... Well, 
it's been nice talking and competing with you. And with you. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Until next time. Of course, you can use Akio. A word, if you would. If you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. You know it won't work on humans. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? Well, an outdoor competition, wasn't it? What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted... Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I... <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon. Re Coming along. Hello, Samantha. Nice to see you again. I wondered how your first day was going. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress... survives the reign of this headmaster. I think we should have a moon calf in charge. Never forget what that Hufflepuff girl said in 1421. What lovely stone. Oh, that's class, that is. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They... I heard as much from... Pro Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a... I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travel. Nothing more, Professor. I see. 
like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue. In that regard, I've asked your professors to... Professor Ronan did mention something. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you at... Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander, you've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but... I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavoury local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his... Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. There you are. You have a new spell? Indeed I do, and an exceeding... Fixes things right up, makes a broken object... Hmm. It seems as if that might come in. More frequently than one... As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spell. A number of your professors have agreed to do... I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will... I'll start on the task right away, Professor. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Revelio. Revelio.
flying page must be around here somewhere. Revelio. I trust the preliminary task too much trouble. I marvelous. You clearly know your way. Let us give the old mending charm it. Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movement. Yes, sir. Remember. Your wand is a conduit of your magic. That's it! Very good! If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Repair. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> Again. Here I've come from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. Did you practice your bowl? As long as we're only one time per week, I can... Oh, it's lavatory, not for the meek. He tried to stop me, did Rancorous come, sought to trap me, confined me inside of a jar. But he failed, as did his containment charms, so I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. Make it. Lucan's just over there. Let me also. Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's. I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sort. I seem to have a knack for dueling. Then you've come to the. How does cross ones work? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up. Of course. I agree. Besides, in Crossed Ones, your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll meet 
So, care to step into the... Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. wasn't wrong about you. Brilliant. Count. I shall. Again, congratulations on your... Hope to see you back here again. Something in there. <laughs> Revelio. for me not a you must be eager to have your own thing I've been looking for good I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's hour was perfect. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Oh 
Cook's meat is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lace-wing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Look! From the forbidden forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Revelio. We already named them too. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. Protego! How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland. But it is beautiful here, too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you, too. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to take them back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, Dougley and Arian. Mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Professor Weasley said that you, you should be able to experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon.
blooming beard. Not again. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, I... Uh... About time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Hmm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here. Give this one a try. Well, go ahead. Swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more. Come on. Really swish it. Oh, dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Curious indeed. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Dragon Heartstring Wand is most powerful. And what do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sense a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions. 
particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I take it you've had a con... I'm afraid I haven't yet. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. Of course it is not without complexity. Stay the course. That's certainly something... And I, too. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teach. A potting table and a potion stick. I believe so, sir. Good. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. It, As uh, how, Professor Weasley. You're the student. I said you're... I said not... A potion's free. They may not be. As it's your first time in, I should... I also have already made... But for now, let's get you... What can I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Pardon me, sir. I'm... Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. Merlin's B. Not at all. I'm choosing. Well, bravo. Not everyone. Name's Timothy. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chap. 
I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of... But what we'll say we get you... Let me guess, you're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. around a bit more. Perhaps... Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Oh, 
Repair it. Repair it. We were just talking about you. Revelio. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself. I should like to thank you for your remarkable... I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. I own Gladrags, wizard wear, and a monk. And, as I suspect, this won't be your... Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, now, let's try this on for size. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. Shall we head to the Three Brew? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. I sell even more battle-worthy items. Should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good day. said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade, that all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well.
Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, <laughs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <laughs> Our timeline. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. I'm certainly glad. And that she isn't intimidating. I want to understand what's going on. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon. If 